Hey guys, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com and we're going to look at uh, hammer-ons inside chords, okay, or hammer-ons while you're playing chords. So it, it helps your chord playing a little bit and your strumming adds extra rhythm and it's a pretty cool technique to, uh, to learn. Alright, so we're going to look at two examples first to try to get the idea of what hammer-ons are in chords. You know what a hammer-on is. A hammer-on is just when you play basically an open string and then hammer-on to a fret. So you're picking with your pick hand and then you hammer on with your playing hand. Or you could be playing a fret then hammer on to another note. You know, you got the idea of what hammer ons are already. Alright, so hammer ons with chords are a little bit different because you're, you're going to hammer on uh, maybe more than just one string at a time. Um, first example we can look at is uh, Last Dance with Mary Jane by Tom Petty. Okay, so the chord progression here is an A minor, a G, a D, and you can play the D without the third if you want, without the F sharp on the first string. So just the D without your middle finger basically. Alright, then back to an A minor. So the whole thing again. Alright, so first chord here is in the A minor, so basically what we're going to do to create the hammer-on technique is just start with the fifth string and strum down to the second string, all those strings open, Then after you do that, hammer-on with your first, second, and third finger. Okay, so even though you're only strumming one time, you're basically doing two, di two different techniques and it creates a much cooler rhythm. So you're going to strum, hammer-on, and strum again. When you get to the D, you can do the same thing. Um, take your first finger off the string, start with the, the fifth string, and strum down to the second string, keeping your third finger on the third fret second string, and just hammer on with your first finger. Okay? And this is used all the time with the D chord. And then you go back to the A minor at the end, and you do the same hammer on. So, whole thing. Okay, so that's what we're talking about is the hammer-ons with the chords. Alright, so another example we can look at um, is maybe a song by Dave Matthews called Where Are You Going? He does a pretty cool little hammer-on with these chords. We're going to be playing this in the key of D. The chord progression we're going to play is a D, then a G9, a B minor 7, and an A suspended. Okay. If you don't know these chords, you can go look at my Real Chords uh, series, uh, Real Chords to Know series, and check out the key of D. Alright, so anyway, so you got the D chord, and basically these chords, they all stay the same. Your first and third finger on these two notes here, the notes stay the same, but your fingers change. So you can play a D chord, and just add the G at the top, with your middle finger, so on the third fret top string, then you have a G9, muting out the fifth string, of course. Then to create that B minor 7, we're just going to play, uh, we're going to mute out the top string and play 2, open, 2, 3, and then mute the last one. Then for the A suspended, we're going to mute the top one, play it open, 2, 2, 3, and then mute out the last one. Alright, so that D chord basically, those two notes in the D chord, they stay uh, constant throughout all these other chords. You're basically just changing the root note. Alright, so get back to... Uh, finger tapping <clears throat> uh, and the hammer-ons not the finger tapping sorry all right so uh, hammer-ons what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna start out with a D you're gonna play the third string open and then hammer on to the second fret okay so the introduction of the song and the uh, verses will go like this So, what I'm doing here is I'm, is I'm hammering on every single chord the same note, basically. 
just this A on the G string, okay? Third string, second fret, A. And I'm playing that string open, G string open with every single chord. And I'm playing the third, third fret, second string, and then the open D. Okay, and you're going to want to do that with every single chord. And the next chord, when you go to G, just go hit that root note. Instead of the D root note on the fourth string, hit the G root note on the sixth string. Okay, so D, then G. Same thing with the B minor seven. Okay, your first finger is on the fifth string, second fret for that B chord, B note. Same thing with A suspended. Okay, let's see a close up of that. Okay, so we're gonna start here on this D chord. Playing the open G string, playing the second string, then the fourth string for the D. A G chord. Then the B minor seven. And our hammer on finger here changes. So with our middle finger this time. A suspended. Notice I'm playing the A suspended with just one finger and barring both of these notes here. Third string and fourth string. You can play it like this if you want to. I find it easier to play with just your first finger. All right. Okay, so that's basically um, another song example of how to do hammer ons. That one's a little bit more um, difficult because it's not just chords, you're actually doing some picking in there too. But uh, go learn that song, you go learn that song, it's pretty cool, and just kind of use this video as a guide on how to do those hammer-ons. All right, so anyway, you can take any chords that you want to and do these hammer-on techniques. So let's just make up a chord progression. We're going to do uh, D, then let's go to C, and then uh, G. Basically a Sweet Home Alabama chord progression, okay? And uh, this chord progression sounds a bit more country music style, and I'll show you what I mean. I'll kind of play an example for you and then show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just strumming these chords and I'm doing a hammer-on with one finger. Just like Where Are You Going by Dave Matthews, the same exact hammer-on. I'm just playing this D chord and strumming it. So I'm strumming it once, then hammering on with my first finger. And you can create any rhythm that you want. Right now I'm just strumming it, hammering it on, and then strumming it again. And then I'm doing a pull off at the end. So you can hammer on and pull off inside chords too. Okay, so you can do that with the next chord C. Okay, so I'm playing a C now. And I'm just hammering on the fourth string, second fret now. Same finger. However you want to do that. Hammer on, pull off. And then go to a G. This G I'm playing, by the way, is third fret, and I'm muting the next string. Then playing open, open, third fret, and muting out the last string. I'm actually not playing the first string at all with these chords. The first string is always muted. All right, so when you get to the G, it's basically the same hammer on as the D chord. Okay, first finger on the third fret. I mean, second fret, third string. Let's see a close up of that. Alright, so we're going to start with the D, go to C and G, and back to D. 